In this video, we are going to see how to use custom icons and tooltip in Dynamics 365 views. So let's go ahead and have a look. So here we are in Dynamics 365 environment. So let me just go to opportunities over here. So in the opportunities, we are using the all opportunities view and it is giving us a list of opportunities available over here. Now, what you can do is you can add graphics to this view and establish the logic used to select graphics based on column a value using JavaScript. Now, in this following example, we will use this particular view and display icons alongside the rating uh, column. So the rating column contains options like hot, warm and cold. What we would like to do is that as soon as a user opens this view, uh, if there is some kind of a graphics like um, you know, if cold is denoted as blue and warm is denoted as yellow or hot is denoted as, as uh, red, let's say. So instead of reading uh, those options, if there is some kind of a graphical representation on this uh, dashboard, then it would be far much more better uh, as far as the usability is concerned, right? So just in a quick overview, you would understand, okay, these many hot or warm or cold opportunities are available right now in my dashboard. So the first thing that you need to do is try to get some icons. So over here, I have taken some example for cold, warm and hot. So for cold, I have taken blue, for warm, I have taken yellow and for hot, I have taken red. These are the icons that I would like to display on the opportunities, uh, all opportunities view uh, alongside the rating column, right? So I downloaded these PNG icons into my file folder and the dimension of these icons are 32 by 32. So it's not necessary that you use this one. You can have your own example as well okay and i have named them cold.png hot.png and warm.png now to include those images into dynamics 365 you need to create image web resources so to do that let's just click on this cog over here and click on advanced settings and then under solutions i already have my solution over here let's just click on that so you need to create three web resources, uh, new hot, new warm, new cold. And I have already done it over here. So just to show you, uh, let me just open this one. So in case you are creating a new one, just click on new and then you can proceed further with this window. Uh, name that as uh, new hot or whatever you want to name it. And then choose the type as PNG because my images are in PNG language English, then click on choose file to select the file wherever you have saved it in your system or in the network drive. Okay. And as soon as you save that, uh, a URL will be generated and then you can also publish it. So do this, uh, this steps all for hot from warm and for cold, all the three icons that we had downloaded earlier. Okay. Now based on the setting of your solution and the publisher, the prefix can be anything, right? So I've just taken the default, which is new underscore. So whatever you name them, just remember the schema names of uh, these web resources. Now you need to create another web resource of type JavaScript. Okay. And this is the one that I've already created. So let me just open this up. So this is the name that I've given and the prefix is new underscore. And the type I have selected as script, that is JavaScript and the language is English. Over here, if you click on the text editor, then this is the code that you need to paste it over here. Now, if you want to have a copy of this code, uh, I will provide you the link of my blog article where I have explained the same thing that I'm explaining in this video. When you click on the link, you will reach uh, this blog article that I've already. And if you scroll down, you will find the code over here available and you can copy this code and you can paste it in your JavaScript uh, web resource. So the thing that you need to keep in mind is that we have three cases over here because there is uh, three types of option set, hot, warm and cold. So uh, we have three cases over here and the image name is given as new underscore hot, new underscore warm or new underscore cold to denote the three types of options and the images that we are using. Make sure this is the schema name of the web resource of the image that you have already saved. That is this new underscore hot, new underscore warm and new underscore cold. So you can provide it over here and in the tooltip, you can provide a short description or in this case, I've just provided, you know, hot, warm and cold. That's it. So if you have a different schema name that you have saved your images in, so just make sure that to replace this text over here. So once you have written the code over here, you can just click on OK. Now within this web resource, just make sure that to remember the name of this web resource that is new underscore opportunity status underscore JavaScript dot JS. And uh, within that code, just remember the function name that is display tooltip uh, function that we have over here, okay? Or copy it somewhere. 
because this will be used to map uh, to the column. So once you have done that, you can click on save and you can click on publish uh, just like before and your web resource will be published. So now we have everything ready over here. All the web resources that we required, the, our images and the JavaScript is ready. Now all we need to do is link this JavaScript to the rating column in the opportunity uh, view. Okay, so for that, uh, we can go to our entities and go to opportunity entity and over here, click on views. And as you can see over here, I have already selected all opportunities view by clicking on add some components and you can select uh, the view all opportunities. Now, when you open this up, you will see that the, we have the rating column. Okay, so now you need to click on the rating column and click on change properties and just make sure if the width is small, just uh, try to make it to 150 pixels, okay, to incorporate the images as well. Now in the web resource column, you can specify the JavaScript web resource, the schema name. So I had already copied the schema name. I will just paste it over here and then tab out. And we have the web resource over here, okay. And also I had copied the function name and that is display icon tooltip, which I will paste it over here and then click on OK. So once you click OK, the linking is already done. Um, you might also receive some kind of error, so you can just ignore that and you can click on save and close. Now all you need to do is click on publish all customizations. And once you have published the customizations, go back to your sales hub and click on opportunities. If you can't see the changes right away, just refresh the page again. And over here, you can see that um, for all opportunities view under the rating column uh, with the values, we also have the graphical icons where the red represents hot, yellow represents warm. And if there is a cold value, then it's represented by blue. So this is how you can use custom icons and tooltip in Dynamics 365 views. So why don't you go ahead and try it for yourself?